Okay, uh, let's look at the uh, practice exam one, problem number five, part C, right? So uh, let's solve this uh, Bernoulli equation, right? Uh, so we're going to use a substitution, uh, looks like, uh, so here. So this is actually the troublemaker because uh, this equation is almost linear, but uh, because of this uh, y cubed, uh, it's not linear anymore, right? So what we can do is we're going to try to turn this into a linear equation, right? So substitution is uh, v is equal to, so let v be this uh, y to the, right? So this is n is 3, so 1 minus n, in this case 1 minus 3, so it's going to be negative 2. All right, then uh, if you take the derivative of this, you will get uh, this, dv over dx is equal to, all right, so we have to use a chain rule, so it's going to be a uh, negative 2, y to the, right, subtract 1 from the power, so it's going to be negative 3 power. But since we're taking a derivative with respect to x, so we have to multiply by dy over dx. All right, so we have a way to turn dy over dx into dv over dx uh, by multiplying by negative 2, y to the negative 3, all right? So we try to uh, rewrite this uh, different equation in terms of uh, v and uh, x, all right? So we're going to multiply this equation by uh, this guy right here. Negative 2, y to the negative 3. So we're going to multiply the equation by negative 2 y to the negative 3, all right? All right, so that way, when you multiply this, then the first y dy over dx, it's going to produce dv over dx. But anyway, let's go ahead and go through that. So it's a negative 2 y to the negative 3 dy over dx, all right? And this times that is going to be, right, I'm going to just combine negative 2 and uh, positive 2 here. So it's going to be a negative 4 over uh, x, right, Neg over x, right. Then you have a x, a y to the negative 3, and there's another y, so combining those. So y to the negative 2 power. Right, and it is equal to, right, then you're going to have a negative 2 times 5, so it's going to be negative 10 over uh, x squared, right, and then you have a y to the negative 3, and a y cubed actually cancel out, so you just get that, right. Then you, uh, we notice that, that here conveniently or this is uh, intentionally we try to create this guy which is dv over dx right and also this is the original substitution so this is just a v right so we have a new equation which is going to be All right, first term is simply dv over dx, All right? And the second term is just going to be negative 4 over x uh, v, All right? And um, I'm going to rewrite this guy as uh, negative 10 x to the negative 2 power, right? 
Now, this is a linear equation. So this guy is a, a linear equation. So uh, we know a technique to solve it. Uh, so we can use the uh, integrating factor. So let's use the integrating factor i of x. All right. It's going to be, uh, remember that uh, we have, so this guy is our uh, p of x. And this guy is our q of x. And remember that, uh, you know, the if you want, uh, i is going to be, so formula was, uh, integrating factor can be found by doing uh, e to the uh, integral of p of x dx. Right. And also the solution, um, uh, I'm going to use y, but in this case it's going to be v, but it can be found by 1 over i times uh, integral of q of x times the i of x dx. All right, so let's do that. So this is going to be, i is going to be e to the integral of negative 4 over x dx. All right, so this is going to be e to the, all right, negative 4 is just a constant, put that but the antiderivative of 1 over x is natural log of x, right? And you don't need a plus c in this case. So you have this is going to be equal to e to the natural log of x would be just x. And then you still need to raise it to the negative 4 power, all right? So uh, we can find a v from here. So therefore, uh, integrating factor, so v is going to be equal to, oh, actually, maybe I'll write this here. Uh, v is same thing as y to the negative 2, right? So it's going to be v is equal to. All right, so we're going to do a 1 over i. So reciprocal, this is just uh, x to the uh, fourth power integral of q. q is this guy, so this times that, so it's going to be negative 10 x to the, right, negative 2 and negative 4, so it's negative 6 power dx. Alright. Alright, then carry that out, so you have uh, x to the fourth is outside then you have a negative 10, right? Add one to the power, so it's negative five, and divide it by that power, so it's to divide by negative five. And then you're gonna have plus some constant, so I'm gonna call it c. All right, then uh, we're gonna just, uh, to, you know, simplify. So negative 5 on the bottom and positive 10 on top. So that's going to give us 2. All right. Then uh, multiply out. So if you multiply, so distribute uh, x to the fourth to the first guy and the distribute x to the fourth to the second guy, uh, we'll, we'll get um, all right, 2 uh, x to the negative 1. So it's going to be 2 over x. All right, uh, plus c times uh, x to the fourth. All right, so that will be uh, y to the negative 2 equals that. So I don't have, like, having a negative power. So I'm going to just take the reciprocal. All right, take the reciprocal of both sides. Uh, I will get at least... Um, Let's see, y squared uh, is equal to 1 over, you have to take the reciprocal of both sides, so you have a 2 over x uh, plus uh, c 
x to the fourth, right? And to make it look a little bit better, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by x so that we don't have a fraction inside a fraction. So you have multiply top by x, bottom by x, then you will get uh, the answer. So y squared is equal to, right now you have x on top, right? So x times 2 over x is going to be just 2. And you have a c x to the fourth times x, so that's going to be c x to the fifth. All right? So I'd say uh, the answer looks uh, clean enough. All right? So this is the uh, solution of this uh, Bernoulli equation. All right? That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.